Hi everybody and happy Topic Tuesday to you. For Topic Tuesday today we're going to have our next installment of Blush to Scush. And the first one that I did of these I did a few weeks back and I did with the Maybelline Master Highlight Blushes, the plaid ones. And I'll link that below for you in case you want to check it out. The one that we are going to do today is on the Clinique Cheek Pop. I believe this only comes in four colors and I have all four of them for you. So if you're new to blush discussion, what I do in these videos is kind of show you the blushes and also give you two to three lipstick kind of pairings with the blushes. So that's what we're going to do, so let's get started. I'm going to start today with the one that I have on my cheeks, and that's the one in Peach Pop. And I will give you both a finger swatch as well as a br brush swatch. So there is the finger swatch, and then there is the brush swatch. This one is just a really pretty, just like it says, it is a nice peach color. I have two MACs and a um, Maybelline to show you. The first MAC one that I have is Watch Me Simmer. And everything else in this video, aside from Watch Me Simmer, I believe to be permanent. And I, I don't think Watch Me Simmer is, so I apologize. This, by the way, Watch Me Simmer. I don't wear this one very often, but it would go lovely with this blush. The next one I have is Impassioned, and Impassioned, how about I put it on here first? Impassioned just pulls a little more pink to it. And then the last one is actually what I'm wearing on top of the lipstick I have on today, and this was just a suggestion a suggestion recently to me from Sarah from Prim Prowless and Shine. She, um, said you have got to get this. I think it would look great over Juicy Melon, which is what I have on today. And this is the Maybelline Elixir in Breathtaking Apricot. And it's gorgeous. I'm going to put it, I think, right here. So there's that. It's really, really pretty. I'm glad she suggested. By itself, it's gorgeous as well. So that is the one in Peach Pop. The next one that I have for you is Ginger Pop, which looks like that. And there is the finger swatch, and then there is the brush swatch of that. And at the end, I will show you all four of these lined up on my hand as well. And the colors, that are, the lip choices that I have for this one, one of them is the Jumbo, this is actually one of my favorites. It's the Jumbo Lip Pencil from NYX, so it looks like this in Pecan. I think I'm going to, I'm just going to go right over where that brush swatch is. So that is Pecan. This, this blush is interesting in as far as it will pull different ways, just like much blush, many blushes, but it pulls different ways depending on what you pair with it. The next one is Max Cream in Your Coffee. And the ginger one, I think depending on your skin tone. So on my skin tone, I feel like this ginger one is going to be better for fall. I just smucked where I put this. So there's a Max Cream in Your Coffee, one of my favorite lipsticks. I haven't worn that in so long. And then this is where I'm going to show you how it can pull different ways. So this is Juicy Melon, which I also think goes lovely with the Peach Pop. So I'm going to put this, I think I'll go this way with it, so that you can see how with a little bit brighter lip, the, pe the Ginger Pop pulls a little more peach. So just some options. One that I think is going to be very popular for summer is Berry Pop, which looks like this. It's really pretty. There's the Berry Pop finger swatch, and then there it is brush swatched. And the lipsticks that I pulled to pair with this, I'm going to wipe the brush swatch off here, just because I don't want it to taint the lipsticks. The first one I pulled is the NYX Butter Lipstick, so it's one of these. Sorry, I should show you that. And this one is in Sweet Tart. So it looks like that. The next one, oops, is the Too Faced La Creme in Fuchsia Shock. It's a little glossy, a little more pink. And the last one I pulled is the Calvin Klein or CK1 lipstick, and this one is in 500 Lip Lock. This is a, I'll go this way so it's closer. 
This one is a little bit of a stronger color. Sorry. <laughs> right there. These are very nice. More matte. This is a more matte lip. But these are very nice. I, I really have been impressed with those. Then the last one is Plum Pop. Just like that. There's this finger swatch and there's the brush swatch. And the lipsticks that I have pulled for this, I have actually two lipsticks and then one of these. This is the, uh, and let me wipe this off, the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stain. Way too many words for one lip product. And this is the one in Smitten. So it's right there. And a lot of these that I pulled would probably go, a lot of the ones that I pulled for the ginger and the peach would go well with either one. And a lot of the ones that I pulled for the berry and the plum would go well with either one. The next one that I have is another NYX Butter Lipstick in Hunk. Which, doesn't that make you want to say, hunk a hunk of burning love? Uh, I crack myself up. And the last one that I pulled to go with this is Up the Amp. Rebel is also another one that you could use with this. Up the Amp will pour more of the purple in this one. So you can see that's Up the Amp. So it's very interesting with these, like so what color you pair them, how it will pull more of, of a, um, a certain part of the blush color. So here are swatches all next to each other. Berry Pop, Plum Pop, Ginger Pop, and Peach Pop. How many times can I say pop in one video? <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about wear time. I find that these wear very well. I'm impressed with how, how long they last on the cheeks. I don't find them getting patchy or anything weird. Um, so that is good. I do want to talk about application. I, You guys know I love my Bobbi Brown blush brush to apply everything, generally. I do not like that, that brush to apply these brushes, or these blushes. I feel like a synthetic brush works much better to apply this onto your cheeks. Something about the... The texture of these is almost like a cream to powder. It, it's not cream or sticky at all, but it's that kind of different in-between consistency. So I will show you the kind of brushes that I have found that I like to apply it with. So the first one is the High Def brush from Walmart. You can't buy this singly anymore to my knowledge. You can only get it in a kit of like four brushes or whatever, but it's very inexpensive. So this is the angled brush from that kit. I have a few of these. I like this for multiple reasons, but it works very well for applying um, blush. And this is what I used actually today. Another good option is the, um, is this the, the buffing brush from the Real Techniques Core Collection? That works really well. I suppose the Expert Face Brush would probably work as well, but I didn't use that. And then this one is my Sephora number 49 brush. I have the old handle, but this also works very well. This is the brush that I used for all of the swatches on my hand. And I find that this, like I said, just works very well for applying as well. I think that Definitely a synthetic brush works much better for these than a natural haired brush does. Right, I hope that you guys found that interesting in some way. I did have a lot of requests to do a blush discussion on those blushes, so I was happy to do that. I think the next one I might do would be maybe on the hourglass blushes. I only have three of them, but I might do that for you guys, so we shall see. At any rate, if you're not interested in seeing what's on my face, then thank you so much for watching. And if you are, I'll run it down quickly for you. New base today, so I will tell you right off the bat. Uh, I am using the Guerlain Meteorites in, I said that funny, Meteorites in Laors, so that is not necessarily new. But I have a combination of the Chanel Pro Lumaire, which is the one that's been discontinued, and the Chanel Perfection Lumaire. And then for my blushes, I said I have the Peach Pop on. And on my eyes today, on my, as my main lid color, I have the Sweet Heat from the Extra Dimension Eyeshadow Collection from MAC. And then I have some wedge in my crease. And then I have the, I can't stop using this color, the Avon Zynga color in black brown. Yes, black brown in my outer corner and underneath my lash line. And for mascara today, I am using one of my favorites. I just opened it though. I had a sample size, so I repurchased. This is the Estee Lauder More Than Mascara. I think that about covers it. As I said, I have Juicy Melon as my lip color. And then I have the breathtaking apricot over the top of that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're having a great day, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.